something else I wanted to ask. You know who's the architect of MIA, right? Yes. Am I? I am. <laughs> I, huh? I am. I am. <laughs> I am thing. I am thing. <laughs> Any change in the design after signing the contract is called what? Change order. Change order. Change order. And the space required for one person on a dining table? More than three. For more than three persons? 660 mm. Yeah. For more than three, uh, okay. For six, three, three to yeah. six. Yes. More than six six oh nine. <laughs> uh, you yeah, just remember. Try to remember it in inches also. Twenty four okay, and twenty six. Yeah. Twenty four and twenty six. Yes. Try to remember it in inches also, just in yeah. case. Okay. Mm. okay. Um. Okay. Just go back to our presentation. Slice is a split, right? So maybe split ring. So let's talk. So do you know what's a truss? Yeah. Yes. In last class, we have seen, I guess, we'll try it right now. Huh? Last mm. time, I, I think we discussed this thing. We discussed some parts of the trust. The, yes, we discussed the roofing, the yeah. timber roof. But what is a trust? What could, what could a trust be used for? For the roofing. It's huh? the roofing framework. What? It's the ro roofing framework, right? A truss, yes, is a roofing. Um, you can use a truss as mm -hmm. a roof uh, structure mm -hmm. when the span is uh, too big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, trusses are mostly used for what kind of buildings? Industrial. Bridges, yeah. industrial, roofs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you know what are the parts of a truss? Nabibe, I do you know what's a truss? Yes. Okay, do you know what are the parts of a truss? Um, we said last time. Uh, Berlin. Um, Strut, I think. Okay. Um, ridge. Rich beam? No, you are talking about the timber timber roof. The timber. What a no. A truss is a steel structure. Okay. Ah oh, yes. That is. So don't get uh, confused between a truss and a pitched roof. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have. Uh, the length of so the horizontal part is called the span. Okay, this mm -hmm. portion is called the span. Okay, then you have the top. Okay, this is called the cord. Back. 
Yeah. So you have, this is a span, this is the bottom chord. This is the top chord. Mm -hmm. Then you have the tie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you have the rise. Okay, this from here, this point to the bottom chord is called the rise. Okay. okay. So you have a top chord and bottom chord, and you have a tie. And it depends uh, the kind of uh, the design of the truss. Okay. There are, there are various types of trusses. Do you know what are the common names of trusses? We call 2D and 3D truss. <laughs> No, so there's a flat truss, there's a single pitch truss. I think here. Here you have the different designs of the truss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what could possibly be uh, the span of a truss? That means the length. Huh? Anywhere 20. between 6 to 30 meters. Yes, can be used for 20 and more. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. How do you check the vertical line? Ah, uh, use a plumb bomb. Plumb bomb. Huh? Plum a plumb. Bomb. By using a plumb bomb. Have you seen a plumb bomb before? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, like a How cone, a conical shape. Have you seen this before? Mm. I, I think the one on site is a red one, no? You've seen this before? Yeah. All of you? Yes. yes. Okay. Miter joints. What is screw? What? Hold miter joint. Used to pull. Pull on to there. Clamp. I don't have any questions. Say again. Sorry, I can't hear you. I don't understand these questions. <laughs> okay, so do you know what is a mitre joint? Have you seen a mitre joint before? No. You've not seen a mitre joint. Maybe I know other language. Have you seen this before? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm. Yes. We discuss it in one of the lessons. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do, do you joints. know this by another name? Yes, yes. Okay. So the question is, how do you hold the mitre joint? A specialized fastener. Do you know what's a fastener? Something that will hold it together. Yes. Okay. Okay. So... The f what is they're asking you what is the name of a fastener to hold a mitre joint? Okay, 
what is clamp nail? Clamp. A clamp nail is um I think for your clip something like that they call it. Yeah, it's It's like this. Okay. Okay. So this is what holds the mitre joint. Mitre joint. Okay. So Okay. If you see this picture, I saw this. It looks like this to hold it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Most waterproof type of mortar joint. Weathered. Weathered. Do you understand this question? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Janine and hi, how are you? Hello. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Bridge. Hip rafter. Hip rafter. Okay. How many of you know this? I think on March. Yeah. Generally okay. also. So. The question is, what are rafters laid diagonally from corner of a plate to the ridge? Okay, this is the corner of the plate. Okay, this is laid diagonally. Okay, this one over here. Okay, it's called the hip rafter. So you need to know the different parts of construction of this pitched roof, of timber roofs. Okay, you need to know the different um, types of joints. Okay? Yeah. And the different parts. Okay. Okay, you, you have to know it. You need to know that the top is called the ridge. You have a rafter. You have a plate. Okay? Yeah. I believe you've all studied this, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I think if we just go through it, we will get an idea of, and we'll, we'll remember the names. Mm-hmm. This is what I feel because even when I was studying it, I just needed to go through it again to remember 
the paths of all the roofs. Okay. The horizontal ground the the bottom the bottom board better roads. Mm. Nail to corner post. Butter. So it's called a batter board. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Lavivi, do you know this? No. Okay. So a batter board is when you're putting the foundation, when you're laying the foundation. Okay. It's a temporary wooden structure. Okay. Board. Okay. It looks like this. Okay. So they will put it on four corners. Okay. Okay. It it helps to ensure that the corners of the foundation are at right angles. Okay. Okay. Do you know what kind of material it is made out of? Wood. What kind of material are batter boards made out of? I just said it. Wood. Wood. Okay. Question, please. Question, please. Janeline, do you know this? What I know is question, please. What is the, what's another name of question, please? Question, please. Question, This is composite. This one is composite. Mm. Okay. You know what's a lali? No. So a, a lali is a column with a steel cylinder. Filled with oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And what is cast in situ? Do you know what is cast in situ? What is the meaning of cast in situ? Which is the column and uh, which is cast on site? Which is mm. which it's is cast on site? Yeah. 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 Point there. For that side. So, and what is a composite uh, column? I know you're looking at the question, but I'm asking yeah. you, what is a, co a composite column? <laughs> Hello, so quiet. Composite donor. Why? Why did they use a composite co column? No. First of all, what is composite column? Like cast in situ, okay? Composite column. No, the composite is already described in the question. <laughs> Just, 
Sorry about that. So, what's a composite column? So it's mainly concrete that is encased in a steel section and it's reinforced with steel, basically. So it's mostly for the compression type of member. Okay. In composite columns, steel and concrete will, uh, will bear the external load. Okay. Okay. And the column sizes are, are very big for composite columns. Okay. The advantages of composite columns is that it increases the available usable flow space. Okay. And it has a great fire and corrosion resistance. Okay. But this is all really civil. You just need to know basically what is the three different types of columns that are mentioned here. Okay. You don't need for it to get extremely technical. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Spirit level, I guess. Vertical and horizontal line check. This is, this is like a level, right? Plumb bum. Mm. No, the plumb bum is vertical. This is vertical yeah, and horizontal. horizontal. The spirit level. Hmm. Spirit I think this is level, yeah. Spirit level. So what is it? Spirit, spirit level. level. Instrument which measure vertical and horizontal line check. Do you know what? You know what a spirit level looks like? Yeah. Hmm. All of you, right? Yes. Yes. It has a water, like a liquid in the middle. What about this? The vertical and horizontal surface is reinforced concrete where its concrete was stopped and construction joint. Yeah, it's not a control, it's, it's not cold, not <laughs> it's not expansion. <laughs> because yeah. we discussed those three already, right? <laughs> What did you say? Construction, right? Yeah. Yes. This one, you know. This, yeah, this one you discussed. Torsion. Mm. Oh. This one you also discussed, right? Sure. We went through this. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, but. Yes. But the same question, like, uh, was there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, we went through it. Ah, you mean the question is repeated? Some, yeah, maybe because this yeah. last one was repeated. Mm -hmm. So then you need to remember this question if it's repeated twice. <laughs> it's come for the exam before.
Active expression type of blood gutter consisting of these angles and multiple webs. So box girder. It's a hybrid girder. Hybrid. Okay. Okay, so for this, you really have to study the trust types. Trust, trust types. types. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Some of the questions, uh, not all of the questions are related to civil engineering. You might get one or two questions with relation to the concrete, the form work, the concrete mix, these questions like the girders, the plumb bob, spirit level. But you have to know, you have to have the knowledge about it. Mm, okay. Okay. So as mm -hmm. much as I know it's a little bit boring. <laughs> yeah. I know I did re I really understand because me myself I had completely forgotten about you know, all these, what's a one-way <laughs> slab, two-way slab, cantilever. You just have to read. And yeah. in, in that book that I gave you, you mm -hmm. will find the different um, types of ceilings, the different types of roofs, windows, doors, the types of doors, Art. everything. Oh. Okay. okay, about Chinese pagoda, about Japanese pagoda, everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I have another question. What is... Have you heard of this? No. Mm -hmm. Nino, maybe you know it. Torana. Maybe by name, I don't know. <laughs> no, you'll have to know. Sorana is the Indian Sorana. type. Is what? Some Indian temple. Yeah. It's an Indian temple gateway. gateway yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So I believe somebody got asked this for their exam. Mm. It looks like this. Okay. It looks okay. like this. So it's an Indian temple gateway. Okay. And it's made of stone. Stones, yes. Or bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. it is usually comprised of two or three beams. These are the beams. Okay. Mm. Supported on the columns. Yeah. Okay. It's in Sachi's too, I guess. Yeah. You just have to know because most, some of mm. the architecture is related to buildings all over the yeah. world. They've taken inspiration. Okay. Do you know what's a one way and two way slab? The I think the reinforcements are what? Uh, defines the one way or two way, right? What is it? The the steel reinforcements. Okay. Yeah, it defines the one way or two way slab. Percentage of the height. Okay. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So in a one way slab, what does it look like? One, I think this is a one-way slab. 
the question because uh, it's one span is longer. So the reinforcement is across which? Um, yeah, it's half. In no, if if it's a one way, if if it's a one way slab, mm -hmm. which way is the reinforcement on? On which on which on which on the side? longer side or the shorter on side? The short. yeah. On the shorter side. <laughs> did, did you search that and tell me? No, I was just uh, thinking because of the, of the, uh, if you're thinking about the reinforcement, <laughs> so it's on the shorter side, right? <laughs> so the one that? slab is supported by beams only on mm -hmm. two sides. Yeah. Okay. And the two-way slab is supported by beams on all four sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In uh, in a one way slab, the main reinforcement is supported is in only in one direction. It's provided only in one direction. Is it Along, on the short or long? On the longer side. On the longer side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for a two way slab, the main reinforcement is provided in both directions. Both directions. Both two way. Okay. That's why it's mm -hmm. called one way and two way. Yeah. What else? Um, then there is some other question. Is less ah. Okay, that's it. So when the ratio of the shorter span to the long span of the slab is less than zero point five, okay, this is very civil, but you have to know that it's a one-way slab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. This is civil calculation, okay, but you need to remember it. So if it's more than 0 0.5, it is a two-way slab. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long linear beams. I should have seen the top board. Sorry. <laughs> Are this Berlin's? Berlin's. Janelin, do you know this? Good afternoon. She's in my class or no? <laughs> no? She's not in my class. I was think I was thinking in the in the timber root system. The Perlins rest mm. on the rafter, right? Yeah. But this one the term is different because it's for a truss. It's, it's asking for, for the, yeah, so on the top cord. So probably it's yeah, the same. <laughs> Because it's the top cord, it's the same as the rafter. <laughs> so for no, the top cord, the top cord is yeah, the top like, cord. I mean, in concept, in concept, it's almost the same as the rafter. Like the rafter, yes. Yeah, exactly. so yes. that's why the, I was thinking it's Perlins. I'm just trying to. To connect them both. Connect, yeah. <laughs> connect them so that, you know, it's easier to remember. <laughs> um, 
Do you know what's uh, mullein? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's a mullein? In certain span of all, we'll provide the additional, uh, additional vertical member. Yeah, it's a vertical member. Steel or it can be aluminium. RC. Huh, or RCC also. RCC million or steel million. Yeah. Okay. Vertical member. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you all. Because I'm going through the dictionary and there are some questions about um, electricity. I had one question in my exam. What is Okay, if I find it, I will ask the ladies. Yeah. Okay. Space frame. Yeah, I think this is a space frame also. Without bearing walls, unfortunately. What is it? Space a space frame. frame. This can be used in large pans and without supports. Cool. Oh yeah, so you should know this question also. Concrete slab should have a minimum clearance of 15, 15 or 20. Either 15 or 20. 15? Yeah. Should be 15. Yeah. Okay. 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 I have another question. Uh, a translucent hollow block of glass with clear textured or patterned faces made by fusing two halves together with a partial vacuum inside and used for glazing openings. What is it called? A glass block? Yes, it's called a glass block. Good oh, job. <laughs> I was imagining it while you were describing it. <laughs> By the way, it was described. Mm. Did, did you all get it? Yes. 